What are some of the safety rules of basketball? Really, it's not about the safety rules, it's how do you make basketball safe for yourself and everyone around you. Again, it seems like it's mundane, but practice is gonna be the best thing. It's the most practical thing, because if you have control over your body, you have more awareness. So if you're on the court and you're playing with other players, you know what you can do and what you can't do. And you're not gonna to try to do something that can potentially injure yourself or injure players, or you're gonna try your hardest to prevent that from happening. So if you're playing with a whole bunch of people who are skilled and know the game of basketball and have practiced their fundamental skills, then you're less likely to be hurt. So those are things you really wanna pay attention to when you're learning the game of basketball, is learning how to, to really, really concentrate on skills, skill building, and that will help you ultimately become a safe player and be safe playing on the court with other people. Along with bettering your skills or becoming a more skillful player, you also want to concentrate on strength training. It's something so simple as strengthening your muscles around the knee that can help ensure you not being injured physically. So if you can prevent any type of injury, self-inflicted, strength training is the way to go. Also flexibility, which is embodied under strength training. You want to make sure you have the most mobility in order to, I guess, suffice for the skill level that you do have. So strength training, practicing your skills, and uh, working on your flexibility, which uh, is under strength training.